So it's just all about those little interactions. Yeah. Um, building relationships with the students, getting to know them, and connecting them on their level. Yeah. Being one with the kids is how I like to mold my way into their lives, if that makes sense, yeah. yeah. But this is just how I am every day. Yeah. Um, I try to mold in with them during passing period. So I'm in the hallway like, hey, what's up? And you know, just kind of hang out with them and um, get to know like what they're going through right now, like relationships, who their friend circle are, like their friend circle, so who they hang out with, um, how classes are going, upcoming sporting events. So I try to attend almost all the sports oh, yeah. as much as possible. Um, just know what's going on in their life in the high school realm. Um, this, is a, this high school is its own community. It's taken a huge stress load off me having a partner with me at the schools. And him and I work really well together. We're, we're the same, roughly the same age, but we also have the same mindset and both have a very uh, friendly approach with the kids, trying to be one with them, if that makes sense. I cannot fathom how she did this all by herself with having going through nine schools, because it's not just the junior highs and the high school, you're also dealing with all the elementary schools involved. So for her to be able to go back and forth by herself was beyond, I don't, I don't know how she did it. Uh, so having obviously two resource officers is good because you're able to, to spread out that, that caseload. Uh, and it's easier too, as far as security purposes, uh, to be able to be at two places at once compared to one place at once. You're in this position where you're enforcing, enforcing the laws, keeping them safe, the kids safe, making sure the school safety is sound, uh, but then also you put on this hat where you're not only like a, a coach, you know, the coach hat, um, but you're also like a mentor, mentor for um, the kids. So you're just adjusting your hat in each circumstance, whether you're being the police officer, the coach, the mentor, or the friend, um, to respond in what they need at the giving time, given moment. So. In my mindset, uh, my success as being an SRO is making sure that I know that going in, going in day in and day out, that school is safe, no one's hurt, and if I can make a kid happy that day, um, whether seeing a smile, high five, as long as I know that I'm making a connection and making a difference in somebody's life that day, that's a successful, that I would consider that success in my book.